Hey guys, so lately I've been kind of busy and I didn't really have much time to record another video, but I thought I might as well just do one really quickly on the coronavirus. And yeah, so there's a couple of reasons why I really like the coronavirus. One reason is because it's just fun spreading zombies around, and the next reason is because it's a it's surprisingly a pretty versatile disease. Like everyone has their own way of doing it. And today I'll just be showing you my way of doing it because I've I had a lot of success with this strategy and I would be like to sh I would like to share it with you guys. So the first gene we're going to be using is metabolic jump. This should hopefully get more DNA from those red bubbles. And the next gene that we'll be using is aquasite because it's to hopefully increase countries like Greenland or like Sweden or something like that easier since they only have seaports. Now the next gene is pretty essential because it's called splice activation and it's pretty essential because um, with the zombie abilities we want, it to, we want to use them, we're going to be using them a lot and this is going to make it really cheap. The next gene that we'll be using is Darwinus and this is hopefully increase the chance of our plague mutating. And then the last chain I'll be using is Extremophile. And I would use Herbophile to spread faster in the um, urban regions, but I like Extremophile better because it just spreads faster everywhere. All right, let's start. So the country I'll be starting is Saudi Arabia. And the first thing I'll be doing is upgrading Zootonic Shift. To ho hopefully help us and this unlocks a bunch of the animal transmissions that we'll be using and I'm just waiting for some DNA then we'll be using insect and why insect because Saudi Arabia is a hot country and then this will help us spread faster in Saudi Arabia give us a little head start you know the next one I'll be updating upgrading is rodent one to help us spread faster in these urban regions like China and the US Lock. Do we even have rule here? No, we don't. I don't, I don't think there's a rule options. Hyper salivation is muted and it's good. I would prefer if they mutated from this side because they slow the, research, the cure research speed and that buys us a bit more time. Uh, I'm gonna want to. I want to aim for bird. Bird one's good. Bird one. All right, we're spreading now a bit, and I want to aim for bat next. Bats, bats are really good in the coronavirus because they give us a lot of infectivity and a lot of severity as well. Holy Figa, okay. Ooh, that's good, that's good. That will allow us to... That means the birds will be a big threat since a lot of birds are migrating. So, I want for, I want to first evolve bat, then maybe I can evolve bird two first, but my... Yeah, I want to evolve bird two first. Yep. Now look. into next and then we want bat two and that's good all right that's basically it for transmissions what we want to do next is work towards the zombie zombie ability zombie symptoms yes anabolism 
that is. Is that the increased infection rates? Okay. Then we want cytopathic reanimation. This just activates our zombies. Enhanced motor control. Master carry attention. And this is good because it increases a lot of the severity. And severity is going to generate us a lot of DNA. So severity is pretty, pretty useful for us. The next thing I want is peptide surge and then dermal clarification. And then what these will do is help us give us a combat advantage to fight against Zcom. Kind of expensive though. Then dermal clarification, and then we want to upgrade these horde abilities. So horde extinct, and then next, let's, let's slow this down a bit, just so we can be more accurate. Horde mentality, horde vocalization, Zcom activating Balkan states. Okay. And then we almost got it. Come on, give me a little more. Yes. Horde pheromones. Horde pheromones, I think, yeah. And then this will help us spread zombies into millions. So the first thing I want to do is hopefully work towards Zcom. So what we're going to do is send Kazakhstan to Russia. And then send Indonesia to Australia. Let's upgrade these these symptoms that involve a lot of they increase a lot of severity. So anabolic boost. What else? I guess we'll work for it. And we want Korea to Japan. So I get this, get that, and hyposomia. We also want to send. Mexico to the Caribbean. Ah, come on, get there. And we want to send Mexico to the USA as well. Let's get Turkey into the Balkan states first. And we want Southeast Asia to. To the Philippines. Let's get Morocco to Italy. I think I should focus more on these symptoms that give us um, combat advantages, like cranial ephantitis. How do you pronounce these? Jesus. All right, let's get Russia. Send a good amount of zombies to the Balkan states. Let's increase their movement speed a bit. Send this to France. Let's increase this. Now the Balkan states should be pretty much screwed. Let's just make us uh, a zombies do a little more combat damage. Send it our Australian zombies to New Zealand. Send these zombies to Canada. Send these zombies to the UK. Send these zombies here from the um, Balkan states to Central Europe. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's good. And then we want to send these zombies from Canada to Greenland. And uh, we want to send these zombies from Central Europe to Poland and also Ukraine and also to Italy as well. So the general idea is just 
you know, spread your zombies towards ZCOM and also to a lot of the islands in the world, and try not to miss any. Because if you miss one, then you're pretty much if they if you don't have any zombies around, they're kind of screwed. Send these zombies from Norway to Iceland. Let's just increase the severity even more if we can. That'd be pretty sick. Come on. I guess we got it. Can we get it? Can we get it? Can we get it? Come on. Just a bit more. Just give me a little more DNA and I can get Cathamaral shift and we can have full severity. And that'd be pretty good. You know what? I might just evolve something. Let's just evolve. Ah, uh, it costs it costs money? Crap. Ah uh, yes, got it. Boom. And Iceland sh and that should be every country in the world. Except for Norway. Norway somehow still alive. Oh no, Norway's been destroyed as well. And that's about it. We've basically destroyed we basically killed everyone on Earth and just left zombies remaining. Pretty good score, I gotta say, pretty good. I think that's the fastest time I've done on the coronavirus. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you found this video helpful, and I'll see you next time.